the only department in the federal government with justice in its name. That is my job. I get paid to do the exact justice the Imam has just described to you. That is the job of my entire office of 200 people. Brian Fields, who's here with us today, his title is Civil Rights Coordinator. He gets paid to enforce the civil rights of everyone in this country, regardless of immigration status, color, faith, gender, sexual preference, none of that matters. The Constitution of the United States and the statutes of the United States, the law, applies equally to all people, regardless of those things. And that is our job, to keep you secure, to allow you to prosper here under your faith, and to protect you. Again, we cannot do our job and keep communities secure and safe without the communities knowing us and us knowing them, and that is why we're here. I mentioned Brian and I mentioned civil rights because a very important part of that job is protecting people when others bully them, vandalize their property, threaten them, or do violence to them based on their religious faith, or their color, or their gender. The Constitution and the federal criminal laws protect you if you are treated that way by anyone. And we prosecute people who do that to you. That is justice. That's the department I get paid to work for. And I have news for anyone who's listening. That job and that justice does not change based on who the president is. Presidents come and go. United States Attorney Generals come and go. Politicians come and go. My 200 people in my office don't come and go. They are career people who get paid every day to do exactly what the Imam said. Look at victims of crime and community members regardless of color, gender, or faith. No matter how they worship, they are protected no matter whether, what their immigration status is. They are protected by those laws. We do that day in and day out around the country, and we do that here in my office. So, my office not only doesn't see people based on faith, we prosecute people who do. We prosecute those in the community who don't see the world the way they should and the way the Constitution requires them to. This is not going to change no matter what the President does. This is in the Constitution. Ensuring that safety is the essential part, even down to the secretaries and the receptionists and the other people who support our work. Everyone in our office is driven by that. I have one other thing I was going to say that I feel like I forgot. So hold on a second. I think I covered everything I want to say. I want to let Todd Pooler from the FBI address their role in this. Uh, the FBI frequently hears jokes like we heard uh, today. 
And you should feel free to joke with them about that. I do too. <laughs> but I will tell you, uh, even though this man looks like uh, a stereotype of an FBI agent, the FBI has a whole bunch of agents whose job it is to investigate anyone who victimizes you, anyone who treats you differently or threatens you or harasses you because of your faith. <coughs> and these people who do those investigations and bring us those cases, they believe in their work and they are the best most highly trained, with the most resources, criminal investigators in this country. So let me end by saying all of this stuff I am saying is not political. All of this stuff I am saying doesn't come and go with the winds. All of this stuff is why this country was created. This will not go away. This country was created so that you can worship as you worship and contribute, as we all do, to the productivity and advancement of our mutual humanity. Thank you. Thank you. A quick question. He said that they are protecting uh, us, you know, anybody who gave uh, harassing you know, our member in community. How about if the FBI is harassing us, you know, going here and there, following us, showing our picture, you know, intimidating here? Who is going to protect us? <laughs> yes. Don't leave it to Bob Troyer. And that's our job, the FBI, not uh, Bob Troyer's crew. Again, hey, I want to thank everybody for inviting us here today. Uh, I've been in the FBI 22 years, and this is the first time I have been invited to a prayer session at a mosque. And I think uh, it's greatly appreciated, and you're uh, fortunate to have uh, an imam such as that, because I've been in a lot of different cities and a lot of different places, and this is the first time in my career that I've had the honor to uh, come to one of your prayer sessions, so thank you. So I, let me just give you a little background on who I am. I am the uh, Assistant Special Agent in Charge of our microphone. Oh, I am the uh, Assistant Special Agent in Charge of our National Security Branch uh, in the FBI over uh, Colorado and Wyoming. Um, so we're tasked with the responsibility to make sure everybody is safe in our community from terrorist, terrorist attacks. And from my perspective, all right, we're all one community. Okay? Everybody in here uh, and everybody in Denver, it's one community and it's our responsibility to make sure everybody remains safe. And that's what we're going to do. And that is our perspective from the FBI. We want to develop relationships with every community and friendships and we don't want you to be afraid to come to us and talk about issues that may be of concern. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, that is the only way that we can keep our community safe, is with the help of, of everybody in here, and everybody across the, this city and state. So my main reason to come here today is to thank you guys, and I hope that we can continue to develop a relationship between our office and your community. Um, I love where we live, and I love the United States, and like, like the Department of Justice, we are also here to uphold our Constitution. And, but we need your help to do that. So I just want to thank you again for your hospitality, for having us in, in your house of worship today. And please feel free to ask any questions. Um, I'll answer whatever I can. Um, but with that, thank you very much. I knew I was still doing it. <laughs> anyway. Just said if you want to say something. And then, uh, what the, the
Hello, everybody. I'm a private immigration attorney. I'm not a government official. And I've seen over the years what's happened with a number of my clients who've been the subject of investigations. Um, this kind of meeting today um, is long, long overdue. And I would really encourage the members of this community to build on today, just not have it be window dressing, but to really try and establish close relationships with these government officials to let them know that you are humans, that you're human beings, and you're entitled to the protection of our government. Um, but it's a two-way street for them to come towards this community, the community's got to reciprocate and demonstrate that you're in this together. So I really encourage you to do that. Thank you. Love our Love our Uh, I'm told there's one other thing that makes communities like yours fearful and anxious. Fear and anxiety are destructive. Fear and anxiety are what we have to get out of communities and that's our job. If you have fear of police officers, if you feel you've been harassed or mistreated or profiled, or abused by a police officer. This also is a crime. This also is a violation of your civil rights. This also is what the FBI investigates. And we have prosecuted police officers for violating people's civil rights. So do not hesitate. If that happens to you, we have to hear about this. If it's allowed to continue, there's more fear. There's more violations. If we hear about it, we can do something about that. And we will take those cases. Thank you. Thank you. Well, 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 well. Well, I exactly love that. I, this community, I came here because you are too kind. <laughs> you are so kind, you are so generous. Exactly love that. Anyone with questions, we will be proceeding to the multi-purpose room if you have any questions. I don't think if they have an answer of Iraq or Syria now. <laughs> I don't think those are the questions. <laughs> Within the Colorado, inshallah, if you have an issue, please, this is the day. U.S. Attorney is here, please. Jazakumullah <laughs> khayt. May Allah bless you. Jazakumullah. Do not forget to support your...